love such a powerful word you know brothers and sisters the same word that God uses that God does to each and every one of us right now but my dear brothers and sisters you know yes we've been in this community for maybe for a long time now and sometimes with your brothers and sisters there are happy times there are just perfect moments for each and every one of us but there are also dark storms into our li- in our lives and sometimes with your brothers and sisters you know when those perfect moments come we just say to ourselves I wish this would last forever. But my dear brothers and sisters, storms will come into our life. And sometimes when those storms come into our life, we focus too much on the problem than on God. Instead of just lifting our concerns, our problems, our hurts, our resentments, we focus too much on the problem and the hurt that we have inside here. My dear brothers and sisters, God just wants to speak to you tonight and just want to tell you that in spite of those storms in your life, or those problems that you face, those temptations that come, the Lord has always been at our side. Sometimes we fail to realize it. So right now, my dear brothers and sisters, I just want you to just close your eyes and just feel the Lord and His presence in this room, in this gym. I want you to be, I want you to feel Him. I want you to listen to Him. Because my dear brothers and sisters, God just want to say something to you and as we sing this song I want you to listen to the lyrics imagine yourself imagine as if God was speaking to you through this song and I just want you to just be alone with God right now be in his presence be in his love
Until I say it can live And it sure is my word I'll stand here right by your side And if you're just too weak to go on Remember child Remember that I rule the wind Oh yes and I come to see Go down until I say it can live, and as sure as my word, I'll stand here right by your side. And if you're just too weak to go on, remember, child, I'm your strong. able to just experience your love father in heaven if you if you could move mountains if you could part the Red Sea if you could do all these miracles Lord, can mga problems na mo Lord, wala rin Lord not even the tip of your finger and Father in heaven, we believe if we hear of experience your love, if we here have experienced your healing, if we here have just experienced the being here in this community right now, I know Lord that you'll always be there for us. And brothers and sisters. We may have perfect moments. We may have storms in our life. There are times that we are up. There are times then that we are down. But what God wants you to know, my dear brothers and sisters, is that whatever happens, He'll still be there for us. That's why until now, our community is still here. Our company with our brothers and sisters are still here because of love. Because, our, because of our love for our Father, for our God, and because of our love for our brothers and sisters. But sometimes, brothers and sisters, yes, we could love God, but sometimes it's so hard to just love the person whom you hate. And it's true. And my dear brothers and sisters, uh, God wants as to have a loving heart. God wants to remove all those resentments that you have from your brothers and sisters or maybe from your families or from your friends. God wants not, you not to be choosy with your friends. God wants you, as He has said, love one another. He didn't say, love those persons na who are rich, love those persons Nabuutan, love those persons who are poor. No, God didn't say that. He didn't say that. God just wants us to love whom we meet. And sometimes those persons whom we we have in our lives, sometimes we have this hurts and sometimes that just it's so hard to remove. Love. But my dear brothers and sisters, God is asking us right now to remove that resentment, to remove that hurt that you have. If that person have hurt you, or nasuko ka sa iya, ask God to just forgive him. And brothers and sisters, right now, let's just humble ourselves to him. And right now, my dear brothers and sisters, if you have your families with you, if you have your friends with you, your barricades with you, I want you to just uh, lay your hands sa, sa, inyong, sa inyong group, sa inyong family, and we'll be praying over 
everyone. Even the person whom you don't know. I want you to pray over those people. Though they, you don't know their problems, even though you don't know what you've been through, they've been through. I just want you to pray for them. That God may remove these things. Because my dear brothers and sisters, it's so hard to serve when there is a, there is a person that you hate. It's so hard to just continue on serving this community if we ourselves are not, we don't practice what we preach. So right now, my dear brothers and sisters, I just want to lead, I want to lead you into a prayer. And I want you to make this as your prayer too. I want you to join me in prayer. Father in heaven, thank you so much, O Lord God, for for your love. Thank you so much, O Lord God, for allowing us to experience all these things right now. You know, Lord, uh, we could never remove our storms in our life. Na amagida pier me, Lord, uh, they always come and go. But Lord, uh, we just like to ask you, O Lord God, to heal us, O Lord God, of our hurts. Lord, uh, as I have said, it's so hard to serve, to love, if we ourselves can't love. Father in heaven, bless each and every one of us here right now in this assembly. May we humble ourselves before you. Father in heaven, just like to lift up all our burdens, all our problems, all our hurts, all our resentments to you, O Lord God. Lord, we don't want to be hurt anymore. Father in heaven, heal us with your spirit. Send your spirit upon us right now, Lord God. Glory to Jesus. Thank you so much, Lord God, for allowing us, in spite of the storms that we have in our life, thank you so much, Lord God, for allowing us to experience the joy of being with our families, with our friends, with our brothers and sisters in this community. Lord, we ask you, Lord, to allow your spirit to be with us always, O Lord God. When the storms come, O Lord God, Lord, constantly remind us, O Lord God, that you're always there. Your love is there always, Lord. And Lord, whenever these storms come, allow us to humble ourselves to you and just say, Lord, I come before you. I humble myself to you, O Lord God. I'd like to offer to you all my hurts, my resentments, my problems. Allow us to be reminded of that, O Lord God. And Lord, thank you so much, O Lord God, for just allowing us to just experience you here. Experiencing what you want to say to us. Thank you so much, O Lord God, for your blessings and for your love as well. Thank you so much, O Lord God, for blessing this assembly. Lord God, this we pray in the mighty name of your Son, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Right now, brothers and sisters, I want you to just, you know, just tap the, your brother or sister. You know, if if you have any brother or sister, then in a soko ka sa iya, or you have you resent this brother or sister I just want you to just reconcile and my dear brothers and sisters uh, let's just be you know just let's just hug one another as brothers and sisters you know this is a great time and opportunity for each and every one of us to just be here experiencing his love The Lord is so good. 
Uh, grabe. God is good. And all the time. Yes. Why don't we give the Lord a big round of applause? Yes, Lord, thank you so much. Lord, uh, right now.